If you're looking to increase conversions for your software, one of the best things that you can focus on is to create a frictionless signup. This will ensure that your new users waste no time and have the minimum amount of hassle trying out your product. Hi, I'm Peter from User Active, where we help SaaS founders create meaningful products users love. If you find these videos helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time we publish a new video. Okay, so friction is an obstacle on the journey to product adoption. If interactions prove difficult, time consuming or unclear, your user will drop out during their sign up. There are many competing products in the market that if you don't make sign up easy and enjoyable, then you run the risk of your new user wanting to try out those other products. So how do you remove friction from your sign up flow? Well, firstly, you can avoid asking for too much information up front. Sometimes you want to gather information about your new user, but it's worth asking yourself, am I gathering this data at the expense of our user's sign-up experience? If you ask for too many personal details or information about their requirements, etc., you run the risk of frustrating them, which could lead to them dropping out of that sign-up process. So one way to resolve this is by contextual data collection. If there's information that you really need, but it's not essential to gather this up front, then you could ask for it at a later stage in your user's product adoption journey. You can ask for information when it's required, such as when a user wants to complete a task like setting up a team or updating some account settings, for instance. This relieves effort from your users by asking for information from them at an appropriate time. So first of all, what you wanna do is reduce the number of steps required to sign up. If you take a look at your existing flow, are there any steps that could be removed? What we find is that we often see unnecessary steps that can be removed from the process. For a minimum requirement, you'll usually need at least a username, password, and a step for validating email. But try to keep these kind of necessary but mundane steps to a minimum and get your user into the product and experiencing it as fast as possible. Secondly, you can offer single sign up. Single sign up provides just an alternative and an easy route to getting through that sign up process that we're all so familiar with. By leveraging a sign up from a third party platform the user already has an account with, then you can skip the username, password, and email validation process by replacing it with a one click to approve access via a third party app. So common single sign up platforms, as you'll probably know, are including Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, for example. Next, you want to reduce the cognitive load by providing less options. I often observe sign-up flows that ask the user many questions and require them to make decisions during onboarding. Often these can be simultaneous and conflicting requests. Have you ever seen one of those onboarding flows that has lots of steps, calls to action and pop-ups all happening at the same time? Well, it can be things like asking the user to accept TNCs, take the product tour, watch a tutorial, invite a team member, start a task, or import some data. Whilst all of these things might be necessary at certain times in the adoption process, it's very overwhelming when they're done consecutively or even simultaneously. Next thing you want to do is to get your user into the product experience as fast as possible. Your user signed up for a specific reason. They are looking to solve a problem they're currently experiencing and then here to assess whether your product is the vehicle to get them from their current situation to a preferred and desired outcome. So if you're clear on the solution your users are looking for, then you can reduce friction by showing them the fastest route to their outcome. Even if the outcome takes a lot of work, plenty of time and consistent effort, you can still demonstrate that your product can solve the problem and help your new user visualize reaching that outcome with your product. If you can do this, you'll help your user to validate your product as the chosen method to solve their problem, and that can often motivate them to apply the effort to get there. You can always add necessary steps later, but it's best to reduce friction during sign-up and demonstrate value as early as possible. Another thing you can do is to keep messaging descriptive, clear, and concise. You'll need to share guidance with your user on the steps they need to complete and how to complete them. By providing a clear and concise copy, you'll be able to lead them through the steps effectively. Wherever there may be ambiguity, provide a brief explanation or description. Tell users what they need to do, how, and also guide them through their next steps. 
If there is any uncertainty or ambiguity during sign up, it results in friction, leaving your user guessing and struggling to figure out what they need to do next. So use simple interactions such as tool tips, hover states, overlays, and provide guidance. But remember to make it clean and don't add clutter to the user interface. Another thing to do is provide a progress indicator if there are unavoidable and numerous steps in your sign up process. So risky moves to look out for here involve expecting or asking for too much from your user. Most often they don't wanna spend time completing forms and going through steps to provide information or completing tasks that feel like work. But if there is some information that you really can't avoid asking for at the outset, then the approach is to provide an engaging user experience. Design a flow that captivates the user's interest by considering how they think and how they feel and demonstrating that you understand their needs. By providing things like a progress indicator, you share transparency on the journey required from your user and how much time it's likely to take them. If you need help with product design for your SaaS, feel free to reach out to us at UserActive. You can book a call using the link in the description below and we'll share advice, a steal on your product, and see if we're a good fit to help. So there we have it. By following these steps, you can reduce friction and be more likely to convert more signups, which will inevitably help you to improve your product, get more users, and grow.